Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is currently 7.46 p.m. on this beautiful, what is this? It's the 22nd, I was going to say, the eve to Christmas Eve, but that's tomorrow on this beautiful December evening. It's actually pretty, uh, what's the word, temperate out tonight? <laughs> that's not a good word. It's not as cold as it has been. It's pretty nice out tonight. And I have literally been uh, filming one video after another all day today. I'm going to light a few of these candles. I've been talking for so long today. And when I get done with this vlog, I'm going to turn around and pre-film my video for Christmas Eve, and then I'm done for the day. I wanted to pre-film all these videos today. I thought I can get all these videos done. Well, I ended up, um, here, I'm going to light my, I specifically brought this lighter out. Oh, I thought it still worked. These candle lighters that I got. Um... Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to get all these videos done today, and then I ended up filming a drama video, a review video, a Peter Dustoff video, a Peterisms video, a reality TV video, and now this video. Part of the problem is that my videos are very, very long. <laughs> I think we know that, right? Like, my drama video, which was just a Q&A today, um, it ended up being like 50 minutes, and then my reality TV video was like 25 minutes, and my review was like 17 minutes, my Peter Dustoff video was like 20 minutes, 25, I think it was like 25 minutes. So they end up being so long that my Peter Dustoff video, I don't know how long it was, like 20 minutes or something like that. The videos end up being so long <laughs> that, you know, back in the day when my review videos were like 8 minutes, my Peter Dustoff videos were like 8 to 10 minutes, my drama videos were like 20 to 30 minutes, 30 was a long video for me back in the day, you know, and all that. Then it was like easy for me to get all this stuff done and pre-film, and I'm like, man, I just can't do it like the way that I used to. I'm gonna light this big candle right here. Um, but I just can't get it all done the way that I used to. So I don't know what I'm gonna have pre-filmed for Christmas. I'm not gonna get into a long discussion about it tonight like I did last night. I'm just, here's the deal. I am just going to do the best that I can and I'm going to just enjoy um, my time with my friend. I'm gonna move these around a little bit because this one is so bright. So I wanna move this back to the end of the table. I'm just gonna enjoy my time with my family over the next couple days and um, all that. Like I, so I poured this coffee, it's like, Three fourths full. I poured this coffee at like 1.30 or something. Like, I don't, when I got up today and was doing stuff around the house and talking to people and all this kind of stuff. So I've, I haven't even been able to finish this coffee yet. So anyway, that's how much I've been filming videos and all this kind of stuff and uploading videos and making thumbnails and doing all that stuff. And also, um, so Alex, Alex's brother Carlos and his wife Liliana, they go to a, like a lot of Venezuelan concerts that happen in Indianapolis by Venezuelan artists that like I've never heard of before. <laughs> so tonight there's this Venezuelan concert. It's like somebody that's real famous in Venezuela. So Carlos um, got like tickets for it and asked like Alex if he wanted to go. Ask Alex and I if he want if we wanted to go. Well, I initially told Alex. I said my plan is that I'm going to be like filming straight through the night on Friday night. So you just go out with your brother blah 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 whatever, right? And um but like in the back of my mind I was kind of like, you know, at some point I should just like stop and just go in and enjoy my night, right? And so then Fufu is in town and he and his wife got into town. So she came in and she cuz she's from up north. And so she came in a couple, I think she got in like Monday, something like that, and stayed with her family for a couple days. And then Fufu came in like the day after or something and then stayed with her and her family. And then they're down here and then they're gonna go back up after Christmas for a few more days and um, have Christmas with them and visit them and stuff like that, her parents. So they're down here already. I think they got down here sometime today. And so they're going to this concert tonight. So it's gonna be, Carlos, Liliana, Fufu, and Jesse, and Alex. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not missing out on this. I'm not missing out on all the brothers and the partners going. Like, this will be fun tonight, you know? And I don't think I've ever been to... I've been to, a, like, a lot of Latino nights, a lot of salsa nights, a lot of, like, Latino DJs and stuff like that. But I don't think I've ever been to, like, a Venezuelan concert. So I'm really excited about this. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see Fufu and Jesse and Carlos and Liliana. So it'll be a really good time. It actually doesn't start... I think Carlos told, told Alex to get there between like 10 30 and 11 
So right now it is 7.50, so I'm gonna film a vlog, and then I'm gonna do, uh, Alex is actually taking a nap upstairs because he went to brunch with some of his coworkers today, and then they went shopping afterwards, and then he didn't get home until probably like an hour ago or something. So he's like, I'm gonna lay down and take a nap for a little bit. And I was like, okay. I'm gonna finish these videos and then I'm gonna start getting ready about like 10 o'clock. So I've still got, you know, two hours and 10 minutes to get these two videos done. Plus I have a couple cameos. I'm so upset right now. I have this cameo that I swore had like four to seven hours left on it. I thought it had like four hours on it. And so I went and I looked and it had a minute left. And I feel like I've done this before. Um, I have so many cameos right now. And so, and I will get them all done in time for Christmas. But I was like, I feel like I'd done this, I had done this before, like when you have like a minute or two left and while you're filming it, if it expires, it won't go through. But I was like, let's just try it anyway. So I did this whole cameo and all this kind of stuff and got it all done. And when I got done, it was like this cameo has expired. So it wouldn't even like upload the video for free or for anything, right? And so I was like, damn it. So I sent the person a message and I hope that they're understanding and I was just like, I can't believe that this happened. So anyway, because I've been trying to keep up with these cameos today. In between videos, I've been trying to like film these cameos because um, I've got a lot of them to make sure that people get them in time, right? So I've been like, there'll be like one that's like due in two hours and I do it. Well, my time just got away from me today and I didn't even realize it. So yeah, trying to get those cameos done. I've got like a couple that I have to do that are due before I'll be home tonight. So I have to do those as well. So I'm gonna film this vlog, and then after I get done with this vlog, I'm gonna film my video for Christmas Eve, because I wanna make sure that I have that up, and then do the cameos, and be uploading this vlog, rendering and uploading this vlog at the same time. Right now, my reality TV video and my Peterisms videos are uploading. And then after that, do the cameos, and then get ready to go out. And then tomorrow, I don't know that I'm gonna film a bunch tomorrow. It just kind of depends. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm definitely gonna pre-film a video for Christmas Day on, I know people are probably thinking like, well, why don't you just film a video and not on Christmas Day? So I'm, I might do that tomorrow. I might do the Christmas rant tomorrow and put that up tomorrow and put the other video up on Christmas Eve and then just take Christmas Day off completely. I may, that may be what I do. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. Because tomorrow night, and I didn't realize I, well, I guess I did. This party tomorrow night at Alex's mom starts so early, but Caroline texted and said she's going there at 6, and I think it starts at 5. So I can't get up too late tomorrow to get some of this stuff done, or I'll have to be filming on Christmas Eve, and I didn't really want to do that. So tomorrow, tomorrow may just be a vlog and my drama video. That may just be what I get done tomorrow. And I think I might do the rant tomorrow, the Christmas rant, and then do my Christmas Eve, the announcement video, and then just take Christmas Day off. So, I don't know, if tomorrow I get up, or if tonight we get home early. But I also wanna watch some Christmas movies and stuff like that, because let me tell you what happened last night, okay? So, oh, this, can this candle is done. Don't you hate that when you like burn a candle, it's like all the way down at the bottom? It went out. So, last night, what was last night, Thursday? So I went upstairs, like Alex came home and, oh no, 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 last night we went to, um, how did I even forget this? Last night we went to dinner, so it was supposed to be three couples last night, and it ended up just being us and another couple because, I think I said this last night in my vlog, the, one of the other couples, um, these are couples we've been friends with for a long time, their son is sick, so they couldn't come to dinner last night. So we're rescheduling like the three of us doing this Christmas exchange for like another night. So we, um, so we went out to dinner with this one other couple that we're friends with, and we went to like one of our favorite restaurants, and this Italian restaurant. It was so much fun. We had such a good time. Got dressed real cute. I ended up wearing the black sweater, but I wore a blue button down, under, or it wasn't a button down, it was just a blue sweater underneath it. And then I had my jeans all rolled up, and I wore my black Oxfords that I have. I looked real cute last night. I was very proud of myself. We all looked cute. Everybody looked real nice last night. And um, we walked in the door, it was so funny when we walked in the door, like there was like three hostesses. It was super busy. And um, it's been, it's like this Italian restaurant that's been around here in Indianapolis forever. And we walked in the door, packed. And this woman was like, um, the, the one, there was like two younger girls and then this woman. And um, the, one of the younger girls was like, well, what's your name for the reservation? So Alex was saying, we're meeting this couple there. They were already seated. And as soon as like he started 
to say it, this woman that was standing behind there, she was like, hi, Peter Mon, hi, Alex. And I was like, hi. And she was like, do you remember me? And I was like, and she was like, Amber. And I was like, okay. I'm like so bad, you guys. Like sometimes like meeting people. I was like, have I met this person a thousand times and I don't know, you know? And I was like, okay. She's like, we met at Dunkin' Donuts a couple years ago when you were filming a video. And I was like, oh my God, I like totally remembered it, right? And she's like, I watched all your videos and stuff. So I want to give a shout out to Amber if she's watching this. But she was so sweet last night and um, just really, really nice and super friendly to me and Alex. And it was just, it was really nice. She was super friendly. I mean, she even like when she left, because she left before we were done with dinner, she like came over and like gave me a hug and said goodbye and stuff like that. And she was like, it was so nice seeing you. I was like, it was really good seeing you too. She was so sweet. Um, so that was kind of fun. And then dinner was great. I had a wedge salad with no bacon on it. Oh my God, this wedge salad was, it was a huge chunk of lettuce. It was so good. And then the dinner rolls. I, I remember like the dinner rolls being really, really good there, but they were just okay. And then um, I had a Diet Coke. They, had, they shared a bottle of wine, um, a Malbec. An Argentinian mall back. They were talking about it. That's how I know. But anyway, I had a Diet Coke. Diet Coke was really good. It actually kind of tasted like it was like straight out of a can, like into a, like a glass with some ice in it. So, um, and then what, Alex had a Caesar salad. Our friend, she had a Caesar salad. Her husband had, and then they got mozzarella sticks that they all shared. I didn't have any of them because I had my salad. It was big. And then I can't remember what Alex, oh, Alex got spaghetti bolognese with, uh, and then they were willing to add some meatballs to it. It was huge. It was like this, it was huge. She's got the rest of it in the fridge because he hardly ate any of it. And then our friend, she got some pasta with scallops. She didn't love the scallops on there. And then her husband got lasagna. And she was trying everybody's, and she said the lasagna was the best. There were, like, four things on the menu that were vegetarian. It's a very, like, meaty seafood place as well like steaks and things like that, but it's mostly like, it's Italian, so it's mostly like, you know, pastas and whatever. So the server was, I mean, he was fantastic. He was so nice, he was like my age, we were like joking about stuff, and I said to him, I was like, so I'm a vegetarian, he was like, okay, he's like, there are several vegetarian options. I was like, yeah, I found these on here, and I was like, I don't know, whatever, and he goes, well, I'll tell you what I would do, is I would do this. He goes, it's a creamy pasta, um, but he goes, it comes with chicken, but we can just have the chicken removed, and then it was like sun-dried tomatoes. It was like a fettuccine kind of pasta, and then it was like a cream sauce, and then it was sun-dried tomatoes, and um, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, grilled asparagus. You guys, it was so good. And by that point, with two pieces of bread, two rolls, <laughs> even though they weren't that good, I still ate them. I was hungry last night. With two rolls and, um, what do you call it? And uh, two rolls and my, I almost ate the entire wedge salad. And then this pot, I just couldn't eat the pasta. So I brought the, most of it home. But then I, last night when I was watching TV shows, I like ate the rest of it. I thought today I would wake up and I gained four pounds, but I was actually like down 0.2 pounds, not two pounds, but like 0.2 pounds. I was like, how did I lose weight by eating there? Probably because it was like homemade and all this kind of stuff. It was so good. The blue cheese dressing was fantastic and I asked for a little extra because there wasn't a lot on the salad and he was like this is it's like in-house made it's like homemade and I was like oh my god it's so delicious so it was so much fun we were there for like two and a half hours it was really really fun and yeah because we got maybe just a little bit because we got out of there at like I looked at the clock and Alex's car it said 9 23 I don't know how I always remember exact times but so we got home like it's real close to us so we got home probably like 9 45 or something like that maybe before that took boo out did all that and then Alex was upstairs in bed and he was like looking at TikToks and whatever. And I was like, I think I'm going to lay down in bed for a little bit before I watch my shows. And my plan was last night, I don't think I'm going to finish Gremlins. I started watching that the night before. My plan was to watch Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 2. I love Die Hard 2. And then I was going to watch like, I was going to finish Smoky Mountain Christmas because I have like a half an hour left of that. And then I was going to do like uh, Season of Miracles because that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. I was like looking through Netflix and stuff to like find like, new Christmas movies that are really, really good. If you guys have any recommendations, please, please, please put them in the comment section below for newer Christmas movies. I don't, not like ones that came out like, you know, 30 years ago, like Emmett Otter's Jug Bang Christmas and all that kind of, I mean, I love those, but I want something new, you know? And so that are like really good, that are really good. I've seen Single All The Way, Candy Cane Lane, Genie, Best Friends, 
what I can't remember what else, but if there's something else that's really, really good this year, and they were talking last night about how with their kids, because they've got three kids, that they were watching The Princess Switch. There's like three or four movies, or I don't know how many, and five, six, seven, and these princess, they like are obsessed with them, them and their kids. Like every night they watch one of them, which I thought was real sweet, but I was like, they're like, her husband was like, Peter, you, you would love these. I was like, no, I can already tell you I wouldn't. I don't, I'm not real into like the whole prince and princess thing. Like I don't really, like that's not something I'm really interested in. He's like, yeah, but it's not really like that and whatever. So anyway, so um, so I was like, I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. Well, I lay down. It wasn't for very long, but man, I felt out. Like I can remember when I woke up and I looked over and Alex was like still on his phone looking at TikToks. I was like, I fell asleep deep. I fell asleep so deep. And um, so anyway, I got up and um, got a Diet Coke and I heated up my pasta because I was like hungry again. I don't know why. I heated up my pasta and I was like, I'm gonna watch one episode. Did I watch something else I was supposed to watch last night? No, because Southern Hospitality wasn't out yet on Paramount or Peacock or whatever. And then, because it came on yesterday, I record it, but I like to watch it on Peacock because it has no commercials. So that wasn't out yet. And then RuPaul's Drag Race Canada wasn't out yet. So the other shows, The Housewives, we'll probably watch this weekend sometime when we're just hanging out around here, maybe like Christmas Day night or something like that. So I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll just go in and watch these Die Hard movies. And I was like, well, maybe just watch an episode of Vanderpump Rules. Okay. So when I started Vanderpump Rules last night, I think it was on episode five or six. I'm now in part two of the finale of season two. Just to put it in perspective how far I binge watched it. Okay, I think there's like 17 episodes in the season. I literally, I mean, I binge watched. I mean, and every episode that was done, I was like, you should go to bed early. Okay, because then you can get up early and you can get so much done tomorrow. And I still got up. I mean, I, I, I went to bed at 7.30 in the morning. And I got up at like 1 o'clock. And um, so what is that, 7.30, 8.30? But I didn't fall asleep at 7.30. I probably fell asleep at like 8.30. So eight, let's just say eight, eight to nine, nine, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12 to one. So five hours of sleep or something like that. And I was tired when I woke up today, but I wasn't exhausted. I couldn't believe it. Cause I was like, last night when I went to bed, I was like, you are not gonna get anything done tomorrow. And I was like, so worried about it. But like, I would sit there and I would watch an episode. Okay, this is the weird thing about Vanderpump Rules. And I know when people get tired of me talking about reality shows over here and stuff like that, but I've already done this video on my reality TV channel, so I'm just going to, it's part of my life, so it's what I'm going to talk about. But when, like, I can either kind of tell, like, in the first couple episodes, like, if I'm really going to like something. With Southern Hospitality, like, the first episode, I was just kind of like, this is boring. The second episode, I was like, by the third episode, I was hooked. That's kind of how it is. Vanderpump Rules, literally from, like, episode one, I was hooked. Maybe episode two. I was already hooked. Now, as far as I am, I mean, I cannot, like, I, I get done with an episode, and they show, like, scenes from the next episode, and I'm like, oh, my God, I have to watch it. Like, okay, and I look at the clock. I think I looked at the clock last night, the last, no, it was like the second to last time. It was, like, 524, and I was like, I've got time for one more episode. And then after that, I watched... No, maybe two more episodes. I don't know. I just kept on watching it. Finally, I was like, before the part two of the finale or the reunion, I was like, you've you've got to stop. Like you've got to go. To, it's seven. It's like seven thirty in the morning or seven something like that. You've got to go to bed. I took Boo Radley out and all that kind of stuff, and then I was like trying to go to bed because I went upstairs and then he jumped off the bed because he had to go potty. So I brought him downstairs, took him outstairs, and then I went to bed. And um. I don't know what it is like it's interesting with Vanderpump Rules because I watch so much reality TV and usually like with the housewives what they do is they like like if the show is 45 minutes 42 minutes of it are real boring and then the last three minutes are like really exciting and then like somebody fights you know there's like some argument or whatever and then it goes over and they do a cliffhanger until the next week and then they show that into that part like what's going to happen next week right and they're like next week on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills you know or Salt Lake City or Miami or whatever right and then you're like so excited to watch it. But then the next episode, it's like 42 minutes of boring stuff again until the last three minutes. Vanderpump Rules is not like that. Like Vanderpump Rules, it is like, there's kind of some boring parts throughout the episode, but the majority of it is like, you're glued to the screen. Like you cannot stop watching. Like, I don't care if you're not interested in uh, those people or Vanderpump Rules. I don't care if you're not interested in the bar scene because the, they all, you know, run this restaurant, uh, Sir, in Los Angeles. 
But I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for a good reality show and you've never watched Vanderpump Rules, I did not think I would like this show. I'm hooked. I'm literally hooked. Like, I cannot stop watching it. I, I could have binge watched two seasons back to back last night and today and just not done a damn thing but sat there and binge watched all these shows. I was like hooked. At least I watched so much of it that my AirPods, or my AirPods, which I had actually put in the case at one point, and walked to Radley in the middle of the night, like out here and stuff so that they could charge for a little bit and kind of took a break. They went dead on me. They were like, the last point, they were like, they went, you know, and they were like less below 10%. And I was like, I cannot believe that I've gone through these, air, like all of the charging of these AirPods and charged them halfway through. That's how much of it I watch. So yeah, I'm addicted. So I didn't watch any Christmas movies last night. I'm kind of at this point right now where like, I have like decorated, I've made a lot of Christmas mo videos. I've watched a lot of Christmas movies. I did, oh, I did listen to it a little bit. That was when I took a break because I came out here with my phone and just listened to it out loud. I listened to some of my Christmas Cozy Mystery last night. I'm just kind of like, I'm not going to beat myself up for not getting all this kind of stuff done. With the Christmas Cozy Mysteries, I've kind of, because I, I always do that. I know this is stupid, but it's like, I've got to like get everything Christmas, like watch all the movies, all the shows that I always watch. Last night, I started watching The Peanuts too, the Charlie Brown's Christmas. I got about 10 minutes into it, so I will finish that, but... Every year I'm always like, if I don't watch all these movies that mean something to me, or if I don't do this, or I don't do that, like, I'm real let down. I get real upset about it, you know? I don't know why that is. Oh, just probably attachments to the tradition of what Christmas means to me through the years of all, not the traditions of what Christmas means, but, like, the traditions that I have, you know, of watching those shows. But this year I've kind of, like, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to spend time with my family. I'm just going to enjoy it. If I get some shows watched, I get some shows watched. If I don't, I don't. Um, I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is. And then, um, yeah. And then, like, with the Christmas Cozy Mysteries, because I purchased quite a few of them on Audible. I mean, I probably have ten Christmas mo Cozy Mystery books, right? If not more. And I have a Christmas Mystery and all this kind of stuff. That was my book for Peter's Book Club for this month. I haven't even started that yet, so whatever. But... You know, it's going to be, like, January, February is going to be cold weather, right? So it's still going to be Christmassy and snowy and stuff like that. So I'm, like, still going to listen to those. Because they're just cozy mysteries. I love cozy mysteries anyway. So I'm still going to listen to those and stuff like that. But, yeah. So today was good. I got a lot done. I just feel like I never was able to take a breath today. Like, I just was going, 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 going the whole day. That's kind of how I felt. But it was a good day. I felt productive. And, um... Even though I didn't get good sleep, or not long sleep last night, I slept deep last night and during my nap. My nap was so nice last night. Little Boo Radley, he is like so in love with that purple bed. I mean, it's so funny. Like he'll crawl out of it at points and like go to the blanket, like his Costco blanket, and he'll sit down on his Costco blanket. And it's so funny. It's almost like you can see his wheels turning in his head. He'll like turn and look at the bed and then he'll stand up and he'll go back over to his bed. Or like last night, he, like, got out of the bed, and he, like, stretched, and then he went and sat on, like, uh, on top of Alec Alex's head, here on top of his pillow over here, and then he kept on looking at me, and then he, like, got up, and he stretched again, and he went back to his bed. He loves that little purple bed that Lucy sent him. Like, I've never seen him like this with anything before. It's so, not even the bed downstairs. It's so cute. Like, he's obsessed with this bed, and it has to be right in between Alex and I, but I will tell you that I'm, like, so then I put the Costco blanket over him, right? So last night was really sweet because um, when I went to bed, like I always put like my arm over, like I either like sleep like this on my stomach or put my arm over him like that. And like I put my arm over him when I came to bed la late last 7.30 and Alex was like holding him, like, you know, hold, like had his hand on him and I had my hand on him over this bed. It was so sweet. We were like, oh, little family, you know, it was so sweet. So yeah, and that was that. I don't have a whole lot more to talk about than that. I feel like I've shared all my plans for the next few days and all of that. I still got Rudolph and Frosty and Charlie Brown's Christmas. Those are easy. You just put those in the background. You've seen them a million times. You know what I mean? Pull this a little bit closer. So, yeah. In the next couple days, I'm excited for They'll be fun. Like I said, I'm going to film this video right after I get done with this for my uh, drama channel for Christmas Eve. And in all honesty, if I don't film anything else for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I'm totally fine with that. Like, I've kind of accepted that, you know, at this point, that I really just want to be present and enjoy all that. What I get done tomorrow is what I get to done tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to, like, frazzle myself, so I'm so tired that I don't enjoy time with my family tomorrow night and whatever. Like, I'm going to sleep as much as I need to sleep, and then when I get up, film what I can. 
um, you know, on Christmas Eve. Well, Christmas Eve, if I don't feel like just like, I mean, Alex will probably nap in the afternoon. I mean, it's a Sunday too, you know, because like our usual Sunday is our brunch and napping. So if he naps in the afternoon, we're not going over to his aunt's house till like 7, 8, or 9 because dinner isn't until 9. So we probably won't go over there till 7 or 8. So that leaves me the whole afternoon. So I might film something on Christmas Eve. It just depends. I might film a vlog on Christmas Eve. It's kind of like lightly raining a little bit. I feel like the temperature today was in the 50s. It feels like it's like 40, maybe like 45 right now or something like that. It's really nice. Let's look over here and see on the weather. I mean, it's not really nice, but it's not like freezing. Definitely no white Christmas this year, I can tell you that. I'm okay with that. Oh, it's 49 degrees and it says showers in the vicinity. It feels like 45. Oh my. Oh, that was smart. Okay, tomorrow is 50. Oh my God, Christmas Eve, 60 in Indianapolis. <laughs> Monday, 55. Tuesday, 51. Wednesday, 46. Thursday, 41. Friday, 35. Saturday, 37. Then it goes down into the 30s. But like even then, like the mid to upper 30s. What is this, Friday the 5th? Is that when we're gonna get some snow? Occasional snow showers. I can't believe we haven't had any snow yet. I mean, just like a sprinkle here and there, but not really any snow yet, you know? Kind of crazy. Let's go over here and see what some of the, uh, let's see what some of the comments on the vlog have been like lately. I've just been kind of skimming them. I really haven't read them a whole lot. So let's go over here and read what the comments are. I bet when the camera switches off, it is silence. No sirens or barking dogs. At least the planes have stopped. I don't know that I necessarily understand this comment, but it is weird that you say that the planes have stopped. I will tell, because I, I noticed that as well, but I will tell you throughout the day, there's like, it just happens like two or three times where the planes fly real low, but nothing like it used to be. I wonder if they sh switch the routes or something like that. I think it's interesting that you notice that. Do other people notice that you don't hear the planes anymore? I mean, I never hear them. It's not like I'm filming like so much earlier or so much later than I was filming before. You know, tonight I am filming a little bit later, but. Um. Okay, somebody said, you don't think you want a smart watch, like an iApple phone, whatever those are, like, watch, until you have one. Love the sleep statistic. It tells you about your sleep. Very interesting. Also, for heart rate and oxygen levels, phone usage, not so much. Text reading, maybe, but not phone calls. But you can. Also, the accessorizing. Change your band every day. They have nice metal, leather, silicone elastic types. Then screen covers and wallpapers, LOL. You end up loving it before you know it. Okay, maybe I'll think about it. Um... Caroline and I were at Cafe Patashu like two weeks ago and there was like this mother and her daughter and her daughter was like, I don't know, like 30 or something. And she was sitting next to us and her, it was a, like a Apple iWatch or whatever those are called. I don't know what those, uh, are they called iWatches? But anyway, her band looked like a Rolex band, like, uh, like a gold and metal, like, uh, I don't know what that is, but anyway, uh, like gold and platinum or something. It was like really nice. And I was like, I love your watch band. She's like, oh, thank you so much. And I was like, do you mind if I ask where you got it? Because Caroline was looking for a new watch band for her son. And she was like, oh, yeah, I got it off of Amazon. I was like, did you really? She was like, yeah, it was like $20 on Amazon. She was like, I love it. So comfortable. It was like a really, really nice watch band. I love the Amazon, though. I think we all know that by now. Um, Brandy said, Peter, you should go to the pool at midnight on the day it opens and have a party. Well, the thing is, is it won't really open until the next day, unless I'm the king of the pool committee, which we haven't heard anything about the pool committee yet, so I have a feeling that they've probably poo-pooed that idea. But um, there's a, actually a spot on the HOA board up for uh, up that people can like get on there because the guy that is the treasurer is moving, but I don't want the job of the treasurer. I want to be the HOA pool committee, me and my neighbor next door. She, went, she and I want to be on the, we want to start and be the king and queen of the pool committee. But the thing is, is that the pool won't open until the next day, but I could do it that night, but at midnight, the pool closes at 10. You can't go in there at midnight. So no, there can't be having a pool at, party at midnight. I wish, have you guys, have I ever been out here vlogging before when the, no, because I don't vlog that late out here, but when the pool alarm goes off, when somebody goes in there, because people go in there, like they, they know they're not supposed to, but like, if somebody has, like, you know, their grandkids visiting, um, you know, for the summer or whatever, and they're, like, you know, a little bit older or whatever, 
they'll like go in there like at, I think it, does it close at 10 or is it close at 11? I think it closes at 11. They'll go in there at like 11.15. I mean, literally you guys, it's like all these lights go on, okay? It's like these huge lights go on, floodlights, all over the pool and outside of the pool. And then it's this alarm. It's like, oh, I mean, I can hear it from here like it's right next door. It's like, oh, I'm like, oh my God. And I didn't know what it was at first. And then I was talking about it. Like it had happened a couple times. This was a couple years ago. And I was like, what was that sound last night? They're like, oh, it's the pool alarm. People are like trying to get in the pool alarm and stuff. Like the camera stopped. But I didn't know it until then. I think I put off the pool alarm maybe like, or maybe, maybe the first time I found out about the pool alarm, I set it off. I don't think I, it was, I don't think that's how I found out about it. I think I heard it. I think I did set it off one time. I stayed in there too long and I didn't know what the time was, even though there was a clock in there. I didn't know what time it was. And when I walked out, the alarm went off. I think is what happened. I don't remember. Somebody said, I don't know how you film and keep track of all your videos, but I'm here for it. Well, I keep track of my, for that day, because I have a notepad that I keep all my videos listed on. I, I actually, the first one is my vlog. This is not the order that I film it in, but I, obviously, but I put like vlog, I put vlog, vlog, and then next to it, didn't I show this on here not too long ago? And then I put on there like R for record and then P for publish. And I do that for each channel. And then I go like vlog, drama, Peterisms. Uh, review, Peter does stuff, booktube, TV, and I have that all, so I have like two for each of those. So it'll say like vlog, vlog, and next to the first one will be like record with an R, and the next one is P. And then like if it's my drama channel, like I'll have an arrow, and it'll have like whatever topic I've planned to talk to for that day. Because what I like to do is, the night before, know everything I'm going to talk about for the day, you know? Like today I had no idea what I was gonna do for my review video. And my neighbor across the street, she was so sweet. She brought me Christmas cookies. She brought Alex and I Christmas cookies, all different flavors. She goes, these are new recipes I tried this year. So I was like, I'm gonna do this on a review video. So I did it on the review video. But like usually like I know what I'm gonna do over there. You know, usually I know like, okay, I'm gonna review this, I'm gonna review that. So I'll put like advent calendars next to it, you know, or potatoes. There was these potatoes that I've been wanting to, to review because I bought two things of them and I loved them. So I wanted to show them over there. You know, or uh, like Peter does stuff channel. Like I think today my video is going to be opening weights, opening my box of weights. But then I forgot that I wanted to show my PO box stuff, so I did that video instead. But usually I have a list of all that. And then what I do is when I've recorded it I, with a sharpie, red sharpie for Christmas this month. With a sharpie, I put like a line through it when it's recorded, and then when it's published, I put a line through it with a check mark, and then I circle it. That way I know that that video is done for the day. That's how I keep track of it. But thanks for asking. It's interesting that people think that way. Kimberlini. Oh, she's been around forever. She said, Merry Christmas and Peter and Alex and Precious Boo Radley. Aww. Stacy. Stacy is so sweet. She said, she's part of the book club. She said, don't forget you have a huge catalog of what I call the vintage vlogs. If there aren't vlogs for a few days, I know I can always go back to the driveway vlogs. They are my favorite. Why are the, okay, I, I need to ask this because I can literally remember doing those, right, during the lockdown. And what was so funny to me at that time, not funny, but interesting to me at that time, right, was, I mean, and there really wasn't a lot of drama happening because everybody was on lockdown, so there wasn't really a lot going on, but I still filmed consistently the videos on my drama channel, right? What was so interesting during that time was that, like, drama videos weren't getting a lot of views, none of my other channels were getting a lot of views, but my vlogs, like, increased in views during that time. It was so strange to me that everybody's at home, and yet everybody at home wanted to watch me sitting in a car in my driveway talking to a camera, like, it's so crazy to me. Like, I still, like, people still, like, Stacy still say stuff about, like, the, the driveway vlogs were their, their favorite. I think that's so funny that people say that. I kind of am interested to know why. Like, what was different about that? Because I can recreate that over here sitting in this chair. But I love that people say that. But thank you, Stacy, about the old, uh, the, the vintage vlogs. I love that you call them that. Of course, because I love anything vintage, right? Tanya, not my Tanya, but she said, I'm curious if you watched Big Brother Reindeer Games. The finale was last night. I did not watch uh, Reindeer Games. I asked a couple people that are Big Brother fans that, like, religiously watch Big Brother if they were watching it, and they weren't. And I said, why not? And they go, it's just completely different. I watched like, the first episode. I, I wasn't really into it, so I just didn't even try. I've got so many shows I'm trying to keep up with. I was like, okay, that's one I can't. If I decide I want to go, I think it's only six episodes, so they're still up on Paramount. I can go back and watch them if I want to. Um, 
Jeannie said, I appreciate every single video you share with us. I wouldn't care if you were in the cabinet under the bathroom sink. That video is to come because that's probably the next place I'll have to film. Thank you for so, so much for everything you do. And there's always someone that will take something the wrong way and shouldn't be so easy to criticize. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. My kitchen cabinet video is coming just for you, Jeannie. Um, okay. Thanks. Uh, Christy said, thanks so much for the vlog. It means so much to me. Love you. Oh, you're so sweet. I can't pronounce this name. You changed your name because I know your profile picture, but you changed your name on here. And she said, I hope you, and I don't remember what your name was, but you're somebody that's consistently commented on a lot of my videos for years. Why can't I remember what your name is? I hope you went to the post office on Cousin Fun Day. I love your unboxing. I did. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, somebody said, Peter, I haven't watched much Vanderpump Rule, Vanderpump, but halfway through Housewives of Utah. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? Did I tell you guys about the cameo the other day? I think I did, didn't I? Where somebody got a cameo for their wife, and they said, my wife just loves your videos, and the Real Housewives, her favorites are Beverly Hills and Utah. <laughs> I let them have it. I was like... Dude, we don't say Utah. We all say Salt. We say Salt Lake City. Are you doing this on purpose? We were talking about this last night at dinner. My friend and her husband, like, they watch all the Housewives. I looked at him and I go, "Do you watch the Housewives?" He's like, "Yes, every night we watch them every single night together." When they're not watching the Princess movies, um, so I don't know if you're doing this to be funny, but that cracks me up. Do you recommend I? Oh, maybe you don't watch them because you don't because you're saying in here you. Do you recommend I start with another Housewives like New York or start with Vanderpump? Well, New York, here's the thing with New York, right? Like, they're not going to go back to the legacy cast. They're not going to go back to the Sonia Morgans and Ramona Singers and Luann and stuff like that. Like, that cast is on the Ultimate Girls trip, and I think they're done. Like, they're not coming back. Like, they're not going to continue to film with them anymore, especially Ramona, because she's proven to be a bigot and be problematic. So, the last season of New York was a whole new cast, I love the new cast of New York. So there's only one season of that out. It's like you're watching an entirely new city. So if you wanted to start with something, I would recommend going back and watching this season of New York, which is on Peacock. They're all the Bravo shows are on Peacock. I love Peacock for that. Traders is coming out soon on Peacock. So if you go back and watch New York, you've only got one season to catch up with. And I don't think it starts until like next, like late summer or early fall or something like that. So that would be what my recommendation. But I will tell you, well, and I would also recommend Southern Hospitality. All my friends right now are really into Southern Charm. Like I literally like, I think Mel was talking, she's watching Southern Charm. We were talking to this couple last night. They're really into Southern Charm. A couple of my other friends are really into Southern Charm. I'm watching Southern Hospitality, which is a spinoff of Southern Charm. Because um, we were talking to them last night. I was saying Leva is like the main star because she owns the club. She's like the Lisa Vanderpump of Southern Hospitality. And they're like, well, she's just kind of like a side character on Southern Charm. But they're like, you would love Southern Charm. So that's probably going to be my next show after Vanderpump Rules I'm going to catch up with. Um, she also said... Woof, Boo Radley, I wanted to say hi. Hope you were having a good day. Big licks and sniffs. Aw, you are so sweet. Oh, that was her dog that said that. Aw, oh, girl, you are leaving all these comments. Um, She said, you are so kind to film over the holidays, Peter. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad that I might not be able to keep up with it. You are so thoughtful. Um, My parents went to my brother's, and I didn't mean to shade you for saying Utah. It just cracks me up. <laughs> it just cracks me up that people say that. Um, I don't know why it cracks me up, but it just does. Uh, the entire family will be there at her brother's, but I wasn't invited. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, Other family will ask after me and rather, okay, she goes in this whole like really personal thing. I am so sorry, sweetie. Oh, wow. Aww. Oh, Joanne commented on here. Joanne is so sweet. She said, I hope you have a good Christmas, too. That was a tough family story to read. Family stuff can be fairly tough, even as an adult. I think it's tougher sometimes as an adult because you start realizing all the stuff that you've dealt with for all these years, you know? I feel really blessed that I don't have tons of that stuff in my family. I mean, my family was so small that there just really ever wasn't a lot of that, you know? But I have a lot of friends of mine who it's just like the family stuff is so difficult, you know? And either they aren't invited to their families or they don't want to go to their families. And it's just like, because they know there's going to be some argument or whatever. And But thank you for sharing your story. You're probably helping people that you don't even know by just leaving that comment, being so vulnerable. So thank you. 
Somebody said, you need to do just a boo vlog. Don't worry about me. I love him so much. <laughs> I can do just a boo vlog. That would be cute. Um, somebody asked me, this is a video that I filmed in the bedroom, the apocalypse. They said, is that picture behind you of you and Alex? That picture, yes, it's from our wedding, the Cosmopolitan. It's in like right when you walk into the Cosmopolitan from like where the garage area is, where people like the ballet drives up. And, um, it's like where the reception desks are and stuff like that. So that was on our wedding. Alex had that picture blown up in like canvas and like canvas or whatever, for like one of our anniversaries, right at like our two year anniversary or something like that. And he gave that to me. So that's what we have before there. We used to have oil painting that my mom had, which I ended up giving to my aunt. And now my cousin has, I think, or did my cousin give it back to me? And I have it here. I don't remember. Um, but Alex didn't really like it either. It was this beautiful oil painting. I was like, what don't you like about it? He's like, mm, it's too, it's makes me, it's like feels old in here. He says, I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, somebody said, thank you for all you do, Peter. I just lost my grandma and just got home and seen you vlog. Feeling sad. Christmas just got so sad for my family. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Oh, my God. Oh. Try to do something one year, or try to do something this year to pay homage to your grandmother that she loved at Christmas. Caroline and I try to carry on the traditions of my mom and my aunt and my grandma. Do one thing, and I know it might be really hard and feel really sad this year. Feel your feelings, allow yourself to feel your feelings, share stories about your grandma, allow yourself to cry, don't stop yourself, feel your feelings, step into them. That's what I always recommend with grieving and everybody's grieving is different, right? Try to continue to live forward one tradition or one memory that you have of your grandma. She would love that. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, somebody said, vlog when you can, if you can, if you want to, I just watch what you post whenever. Oh, you're so sweet. Somebody said, thank you for filming during the holidays. Much appreciated. King Peter. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, somebody said, I am, oh, the same person said, I'm the same way. LOL. Cheese is literally why I'm not vegan. It's so hard, isn't it? Um, somebody said, I love it when you have Boo, your cutie patootie pie co-host and the videos with you, the interactions with you have are just so very precious and reminds me of like little fur children's p.s i always feel bad if i don't tell them bless you after they sneeze oh my god lol they have like they have any idea what i'm saying anyway no they do though i i really do what if you find out like you know what if there's some big science study that comes out or we find one out one day that our pets absolutely 100 percent here know everything that we're saying what if just what if right and they're watching tv shows with us and stuff so i love that comment well all right you guys i'm gonna get off here and start um uh, rendering and uploading this vlog i'm just gonna do a real short outro today i love you guys i hope that you're having a magically amazing friday a fantastic beginning to your weekend if you celebrate christmas i hope that you're having a fantastic beginning to your christmas i hope it's everything that you want spend time treating yourself well if nobody else has told you this today i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow bye love ya